This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Conan Exiles video. Today I'm going to show you how to make custom items. Let's get to it. So in a recent video I did about beehives, I asked you all to get that video to 700 likes and I would show you how I stacked jars and you all absolutely freaking crushed it. You all are some absolutely amazing freaking people. So because you crushed it, I'm going to show you how to make custom items today. So you can do a lot of different things besides just stacking jars. So that's what we're going to talk about today. In order to do this, you need to be in admin mode. If you're not sure how to do that, you hit escape settings, you go to server settings, you click make me admin. If you're on a server, you probably need a password. You would input that right here and then you click make me admin and it should make you admin. You can also hit the tilde key, also known as the grave key. It's right above your tab key to the left of your number one. You hit that and it brings up that little menu down there at the bottom. You can also hit insert. The insert key will also bring that up. Once you have that brought up, you can type in make and then you can see there it wants to finish, make me admin. You just hit tab to complete that, hit spacebar, type in the password if there's a password. If there is no password, you can just hit tab and enter and it will make you admin. Once you are admin, you can then make custom items. In order to start doing that, I highly advise setting your inventory to custom. So you can see here, you can sort of name heaviest custom. Do custom because these slots matter. So you have to, when you're using the command, you have to tell it what item and what slot you are editing. So this is your zero slot. This is one, two, three, four, and then so on and so on and so on. So I always just set it to custom and then put, you know, you can have all your items wherever. And I just put whatever one that I'm editing in this slot. So it's always the zero slot. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is make these stackable jars. So we're going to put the jar up there in our zero slot, and then we're going to come back to the main screen here and we're going to hit the tilde key or insert key, whichever you prefer. And then we're going to type in set I, and then it finishes it for you. Set inventory item stat, hit tab to complete that, hit space bar, hit zero because it's in our zero slot. Now we need to tell it what stat we want to edit. And uh, I can't really show you all those on screen because there's a lot of them and they each have a number coinciding with them. So it says there it wants an in int 32 that means it wants a number so you have to put in the number for what you want it to be i'm going to put a link down in the description to a spreadsheet that i have all these listed on so we're going to edit the max stack size of this item which is zero so then we will put in zero and then we hit spacebar again, and now it wants a value for that max stat size. So we're gonna put in 100, and now we hit enter. Now this item can be stacked to 100, but the problem is we don't have any other jars, and if we did, they are different now than this jar, so they would not stack. So we can increase the stack of that jar now. So we're just gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna bring up the console there with either the tilde or insert key, and we're gonna type in set I, hit tab, slot zero stat it, this time is one one equals the stack size so one that tells it it's going to be we're editing the stack size and now we're going to type in 100 so before we edited the max stat size we told it that this item can be stacked to 100 now we're telling it that the stack size is 100 so then we hit enter and now you can see we're immediately over encumbered. And if we come over here, you can see that we have edited the jar to be 100 jars. And then if we drag those down into our inventory, we can now come down here and we can place those wherever we want. But that's not all we can do. Okay, so we're just going to toss those jars out because you know now that we can do that. So we have a truncheon here. What if we want an instant knockout truncheon? We want a truncheon that just one hit knocks out any thrall anywhere. So we're gonna drag that up to our zero slot there. And now we're gonna edit the concussive damage for that truncheon. So we're going to bring up the command console once again, and we're gonna type in set I, hit tab, slot zero. And now we need to know which one it is for the concussive damage, because that's what tells how much damage it does to knock something out. So we want concussive on light, and that would be number 34. So we type in 34, and we're gonna tell it to do, mm, I don't know, 
500 should auto knock out pretty much anything. So there we go. That should set this. Now you don't see that stat on any items, but we can go test it out really easily. All right, here we are at my favorite testing spot. Now I'm just going to want to run up here and give this guy a little love tap here and see. Yep. There you go. Instant knockout. And, uh, can't knock out the dogs, but uh, we can whack one and see what happens anyway. You never know what kind of crazy stuff can happen when you're doing this stuff. There we go. Just give her a little love tap. Give him a little love tap. And uh, yeah, there we go. We just knocked out. We made a one hit truncheon. Just knock out whoever we want here. Oh, 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 she took two hits. Apparently, our truncheon is not strong enough. Okay, but uh, say you want to edit something completely different. Say you want a katana that knocks stuff out. We can totally do that. Now, there are some things that I can't figure out how to edit. They have uh, what's considered a float integer, and that is for the armor pen is one of those. Can't figure out how to edit the armor pen. I don't know how to input anything that is a float. I've only figured out how to do just the normal integers, but we can edit a lot of different stats. But anyway, we're gonna edit this katana to make it more like a truncheon. So we need to first edit its light and heavy damage. So we have it here in our slot. We're gonna do the same thing, bring up the command console, type set I, hit tab, slot zero, cause it's in our zero slot. Now the stat that we need is damage health light on hit. And that is number six. And we're gonna set that to one, okay? And then we're just going to hit enter. Now, if we come up here and we take a look at this, you can see that our damage is one. We also wanna edit the heavy on hit so that we can use both heavy or light attacks to knock stuff out. So we're gonna do the same thing we've been doing, slot zero, and now this is number seven to edit this stat. And then we're going to set that to one as well. Don't put it to zero. Strange things happen when items do zero damage. Uh, if you want it to do very little damage, just set it to one. Uh, if you set it to zero, it just kind of just stops working. So just a little hint there to you when you start making your own custom items. Okay, so now we're going to edit its concussive damage on light and it's concussive damage on heavy. And we're going to customize it a little more than just being crazy OP. So we do the usual type set I hit tab slot zero. Now we're going to do the light damage first. So that is 34. And for the value for that one, we're going to do 200 and then we're going to hit enter. We're going to do the same thing again. Now for this stat, it is 35. And we're going to set this one to 600. Okay. And then we're just going to hit enter. Now we have a katana that does basically no damage and uh, should knock things out when we give them a little hit here. Let's see. Oh, we just swing them. Why, why can't it really hit him? Oh, there you go. So it didn't quite knock him out. Let's give him one more. There we go. So it's a knockout katana. Let's see if we can get, get her with a, a charged heavy strike here. So... Yeah. Oh, no. Nope. Wait, wait, wait. I'm struggling. Struggling. There we go. Oh, yeah. She's down. She's out. <laughs> so let's see if we can knock out. Let's see if we can get a two for one. Two for one. Oh, two for one for the knockout katana. All right. So there's a lot of different things we can do. We can edit food amount. So let's uh, let's go into Pippi real quick and let's drop our hunger down. Let's just make sure we're nice and hungry. Okay, our stomach hurts. Now let's go spawn some food. All right, so I just spawned in a bunch of grilled steak. We're gonna drag that up there to our zero slot and we can edit the food and drink amount. Let's actually, let's go back into Pippi and let's drop our drink down too. Let's make a steak that also gives us liquid and food at the same time. So we're going to bring up the command console, set I, tab slot zero and now the first one that we want to edit is 25 that is the food amount so let's do that for um i guess 100 and hit enter and then we'll do the same thing again slot zero and the drink amount is number 26 and we'll do that for 100 as well bring up our inventory 
drag that down here and now let's just watch when we hit it there you go and 100 on both food and water by only eating one steak okay so i think you all get the general idea of how it works once again i will leave a link down in the description to the spreadsheet with all of these corresponding numbers on it so that you know which does which um, i'm not responsible if you break your game by the way uh, there's some stuff in here that could possibly break your save file so be careful when you're messing with this kind of stuff in single player don't do it in a game that you care about and uh yeah i'm not responsible if you break your game also if i figure out how to edit the float values so things like armor penetration and stuff like that i will make a, another video showing you all how to do that all right i think that pretty much covers everything you all know the drill that is going to wrap it up for this episode if you like what you saw consider hitting that sub button i want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible you all are absolutely amazing people if you would like to join my leecro patreon supporters please check out the link in the description below if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below let me know what you thought if you're shy you don't like to comment just hit that thumbs up button and show your support until next time thanks for watching